These days, it is easier than ever to build out your smart home. Here's how you can get started or grow your existing HomeKit smart home with a little help from Akara. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I have to start by thanking my sponsor for this video, Akara. Akara makes a whole host of accessories that work seamlessly together and with all of your existing HomeKit accessories. They're reliable, affordable, and easy to set up. So let's take a look how I set up my smart home that I rely on every single day for peace of mind, security, and convenience. To start, I use this guy right here. This is the Akara G3, and it doubles as both a hub for all of my other Akara accessories, but also as a security camera for my home. Akara makes a bunch of different hubs, but this one happens to be my personal favorite. Video is crazy high resolution. It can capture footage at 2K when you're using the Akara app. If you are like me, big HomeKit fan, uh, you can use HomeKit Secure Video instead. With HomeKit Secure Video, all of your footage is stored securely and encrypted inside of iCloud, and absolutely nobody, including Apple, has any access to it. Of course, if you prefer one of those other smart home platforms, the Akara G3 also works with Amazon's Assistant and Google Home as well, if that's your preference. HomeKit Secure Video can be configured to record intelligently based on what the Akara G3 sees. So inside your house, you could choose to only record a clip when it detects a person. And all of that subject recognition is done locally on your home hub. When you use the Akara app, the Akara G3 has full 360 degree field of view. It can rotate around to capture an entire room and you can control that remotely via that Akara app. Once your Akara G3 is set up, you can start adding your other accessories. And Akara makes a lot of accessories that pair with your Akara hub, in this case, the G3. Like literally anything you could think of, switches, um, smart plugs, all sorts of things. In my case, I have five big ones that are kind of like my go-to. Like if you're setting up a home, you need these. If you have a huge smart home, you still need these. So leak sensors, crucial. Contact sensors, smart plug. I also use a temperature sensor and a motion sensor. Those are my go-to accessories. So let's go ahead and set some of these up and I'll show you some automations that you can configure with them. This is the Akara water leak sensor, one of the most indispensable sensors that I have in my home. This actually has a two year battery life, which means once you set this up and pair it with the Akara app, you don't have to worry about it and you'll get alerts inside of the home app and the Akara app when the battery is low and it is time to change this out. You can see there are little contact sensors on the bottom when liquid comes in and these two uh, connectors make a connection via that water. This will trigger, letting you know that there is water uh, wherever you place this. This guy is a car's temperature and humidity sensor. It also measures air pressure as well. Uh, this is sweet. You can put this in a bunch of different rooms in your house uh, basement to monitor temperature and humidity, making sure you're not having really high humidity levels in your basement. Uh, put it in a baby room. That's what we have. We have a, a baby coming along. So having a temperature, humidity sensor and stuff is there. It's gonna be really nice to know uh, that it's comfortable in their room. Yeah, you should probably have some temperature sensors, if not one, quite a few of these hiding around your house. This here is the uh, motion sensor, a car's motion sensor. You know the deal, two year battery life in this sensor. What's so cool about this is there's multiple mounting options. So there is a little silicone foot here on the bottom. So you can just place this right there on a counter, a shelf, whatever. But you also have a little stand that it comes with. This attaches to the bottom, just right there. There's a little adhesive, these connect together. And then this can either set down somewhere or if I find the side there, this bends out. So you can do it like that. So you can mount this to the wall and attach it anywhere you need. Very cool how uh, easy this is to mount in certain places. This is an awesome little motion sensor. Super handy for a bunch of different automation ideas. Smart plug. Everyone needs a smart plug in their home. One of the most basic and helpful smart home accessories. Then finally, a door and window contact sensor. If you have a lot of doors and windows that you want to monitor for security reasons, uh, convenience features, anything like that, these can add up depending on which ones you pick up. So I really like these from a car because they are quite affordable uh, if you plan to put a bunch of them around your house. 
like I said, we're about to have a baby. So here I am in our still as of yet unfinished baby room. And I'm going to put in this temperature humidity sensor. Uh, it actually has an adhesive back on it, which is really cool. I can place this just by the crib or near the crib, anything like that. So I know exactly how warm, how cool, how humid it is in our baby room at all times. If you need some automation ideas, use this to trigger a smart plug connected to a humidifier and turn on that humidifier if the humidity in the room gets too low and you need to add some more moisture or trigger a light to come on if the temperature in here drops below a certain threshold. I cannot overstate how important leak water sensors are. My grandma just had thousands of dollars of damage at her house when her kitchen sink was leaking and she had no idea. So yeah, I put one of these under every sink and in the basement in my house. I am not gonna end up paying thousands of dollars in surprise water damage. So the motion sensor, another smart home staple, right? Uh, we keep these in pretty much every room in our house. And I'm gonna put this one right here on a bookshelf. You can use these for a bunch of different automation ideas. So in a living room like this, you can turn on the ceiling fan when you come in and turn it off when you leave. Ceiling fans don't really work. When people aren't in the room, they're cooling people, not the rooms. Uh, you could also use these to trigger a light, put it in your bathroom and have the lights come on when you walk into the bathroom and turn off a certain number of times later. Uh, another idea is if you have this connected to smart lights, you could even change the light brightness and temperature based on the time of day. So if you have a dimmer, you can change the brightness. Uh, if you have bulbs, you can change them to be more cool during the day and more warm yellow. If you have to get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, anything like that. There's a bunch of ideas you can use for motion sensors. A lot of people use smart plugs to turn on things like lights, uh, humidifiers, dehumidifiers, uh, air purifiers, stuff like that. But for me, I used to turn on the coffee maker. So every time when my alarm goes off in the morning, the coffee maker automatically boots up and starts making me fresh coffee. Contact sensors, they come in two different pieces. There's this little guy here, uh, which is a magnet that can go on the door itself and then larger piece that can mount on the door frame. You can get basic alerts. So even if you're not home, you get notified if a door or window was opened and you're not there. Pretty important from a security aspect. But the other really neat feature is you can use them to trigger other accessories. So maybe you have uh, this one on your back door, like I do. And then if it's after dark and we open this door, I can automatically turn on the porch lights or the deck lights, make it easy to see outside without having to actually turn anything on. Or if you have this uh, on your front door, when you get home and it's at night, turn on your living room lights so that you walk into a house that's already well lit. There's a bunch of other little ideas you can use contact sensors for for privacy, security, and convenience use. Conveniently, this video happened to just be placed right after Acara launched version 3.0 of their mobile app. Version 3.0 has customizable dashboards, horizontal mode for tablets, so you have this cool dashboard interface, and all new icons and wallpapers for you to choose from. It's definitely a big overhaul to the application, and I have been loving it way before this video was going to be a thing. I just love with HomeKit, you have so many options. Everything plays together perfectly well, and you can control and see all of these devices across your HomeKit network. See them on your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your iPad, your Mac, your Apple TVs, everything just plays together so perfectly. And Akara has become one of the biggest names in the industry with a ton of reliable accessories and it only keeps continuing to grow. If you follow me on HomeKit Insider, it seems like every other week we are talking about something new coming out from Akara, and I'm pretty excited about what they've got coming down the line. If you'd like to pick up the Akara G3 hub and camera, this thing is listed on Amazon. There's a link for it down below in the description with a discount if you act quick enough. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU what your favorite smart home product is. It doesn't even have to be Akara, just your favorite HomeKit product let me know on Twitter or down in the comments. Thank you again so much to Akara for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you guys next time.